Hi guys, my name is Jarl and in this video I will show you the basics of the Dart programming language. In the previous video, we have already installed the Dart SDK and the Visual Studio Code. In Visual Studio Code, we then added this Dart extension. And this enables our Visual Studio Code to support Dart programming language. We then created a folder called dart underscore test and inside this folder we created the bin folder and inside the bin folder we created this main.dart file. Inside the main.dart file we've created this main function which is of type void. This main function right here is a special required top level function in which the app execution begins. We've also printed a string message right here and we were also able to debug this by going to the debug section and then clicking this play icon. And so you'll notice that the message is printed right here. Now to begin with the basics, I will show you how to declare a variable in Dart programming language. To create a variable, we could type in var underscore or var space number. And if you hover your mouse on top of this variable, you'll notice that the type is set to dynamic. And the reason for that is we did not set uh, an explicit type on this variable. Now I will initialize this variable by assigning a value. If I hover my mouse again, you will notice that the type of the variable changes to int. And the reason for that is there is a feature on Dart called type inference, which is also similar to the way Java, JavaScript variables uh, behave. And then uh, now I will show you how to create a function. So I will create a function called add, which accepts two numbers. as an input print okay I will print the message and in order for me to use the parameters I will type in dollar sign num1 dollar sign num2 And in order for me to be able to um, use the parameters for uh, performing operations such as addition, I could just type in dollar sign and the curly braces. And then I will just perform the operation inside. Like so. Now, let's try to verify if this uh, function is working. So I'll type in add one, two. Now let's debug. And as you can see, our function is working. Since Dart is a strongly typed language, we encourage uh, everyone to use or to assign an explicit type on your parameters as well. So I will explicitly state that the required type for the parameter would be an integer like so. Okay. 
and in the in my console you will notice that on there is a problem and the problem is that we are not using this variable right here so i'll just simply copy this and then paste it right here instead and as soon as i do that the pre the problem is removed now let's see if this is working again and as you can see, it is working fine. Even though the number was instantiated or was declared with var, the add function is still accepting the variable. Uh, and that and the reason for this is the type inference that I told you earlier. We could also add inline comments like this. And we could also create a multi-line comment like this one. And this is very, um, this is ideal to describe your functions. And this would also improve the readability of your code. If someone else will read your code, then they would immediately have an idea of what the function is for. And I think that's it for me right now for the basics. So if you like this video, uh, please click the like button and you may also subscribe to my channel to see more videos about Dart and Flutter. In the next videos that I will create, I will be discussing the other features of the Dart programming language in much more detail. So stay tuned and see you on the next videos.